Hi. In this little film, I'd like to show you our Midnight Dreamer. The Midnight Dreamer is a three-pole tunnel tail, which is very easy to pitch. It has some, quite some flexible solutions. You can either choose between having sleeping space enough for four people and then having a big living area, or you can buy an extra inner tent for one person and attach that in the front part of the quartz area. The Midnight Dreamer is a part of our adventure range. In the range, we use our Hydrotex 5000 fly sheet. It's a tough polyester weave with a PU coating on the back and all seams are taped to make it totally waterproof. We have our own rain facilities at Robins and the Midnight Dreamer have been tested to make sure you'll find absolutely no leaks in the tent. To make pitching very easy, we color code the pole sleeves and the poles. The poles are what we call a power stability frame. It's actually a powder coated steel pole that is very, very strong as you see. We test all our tents at Robins in our own wind generator and actually the Midnight Dreamer has been tested up to 169 km an hour. To further increase the stability of the tent, we also use what we call a storm, storm guard system. This is simply a webbing material that is used to connect the fly sheet and the guy line to the pole. So all you do when you pitch the tent is that you wrap the webbing around the pole and then pit the guy line. Like this. On every guy line we have a little retainer. This is simply a nylon loop that is used to store the guy line when you pack down the tent. And that way all the guy lines won't be tangled up the next time you have to use the tent. There is a lot of good ventilation openings in the Midnight Dreamer. We have ventilation on the side, on each door, with mess. We have ventilation opening in the front, also on both sides. And we have a big ventilation opening in the rear end of the tent. These can all be closed in bad weather, like this. Ventilation is quite important in the tent because it helps give a good airflow in the tent and cool down the tent in the summer and also prevent some of the condensation buildup inside the tent. In the ports area we use what we call mud balance which will effectively lead any water away from the tent. As you can see the tent has a big door opening in the front and you also have the option to use the side doors in each side. The side doors also have a full mess ventilation panel so you can have a good airflow in the summertime without letting in insects and bugs. In the living area we have a detachable ground sheet which is made out of polyethylene and has a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimeters. We have windows both in front of the tent and in each side door. On each window we have curtains so we can close them for more privacy if we need to like this. Let's take a look at the inner tent. On the front of the inner tent we have a mess organizer for your smaller personal belongings. On the front here of the inner tent we have a good mess panel which can also be closed with a curtain again if we need some privacy. The whole inner tent can easily be zipped in and out like this. Another good thing about using a zipper is that it helps distribute the pressure on the seams you would normally have. The inner tent can either be divided into two compartments or you can choose to open the room divider and roll it up. In the rear end of the tent you also have a big mess ventilation that corresponds well with the opening we have on the fly sheet. On the top of the tent we have what we call a blackout inner which helps take some of that morning light and gives you a better sleep in the morning. In each corner down here we also have a little mess pocket. So as you see the Midnight Dreamer is a very stable tent with some good versatile solutions that would definitely cover your needs for adventurous camping. Thank you very much for watching.